I only have one word for you guys. What would that word be, Johnny? Armpit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. The Me Gunner's back. But yeah, uh, Mason, if you're interested in that, I would recommend checking out uh, the Facebook post. I have all the details on it in there. Alright, winners finals. Me Gunner versus Banjo. We got, uh, we got fucking projectile zoner hell. So, you know. Do you guys want to go take a break, watch something else? Maybe do your taxes? I, I, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that I'd prefer you to do that. I'm saying that I get it. <laughs> oh, fuck, I need to actually do my taxes soon. <laughs> All right. Now, despite uh, projectile zoner hell, this is uh, the first time that we've actually had Johnny in a tournament where he had a stable connection. So, do my taxes day one? Nah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what did he get hit by? Sorry, I looked away for like two seconds. So this is Johnny's tried and true main. The person, uh, the character that he beat Werewolf with, the person that he's almost beaten KB with, and Sapo, and a number of other players that he couldn't quite beat. Four eyes as well, I think. But let's see if uh, Sky proves to be his equal. <clears throat> now he didn't, he uh, did not end up on the last Siwa Wi-Fi Warrior PR, but that was largely because he got DQ'd from like every tournament. And he also informed me today that he was feeling himself a little bit. He's playing pretty hot online, won 10 straight matches on Elite Smash. So, you know, that's like... something. <laughs> okay, gets the F Smash. I do wonder when the last time before today Johnny actually played Me Gunner. And I do know he was at one point interested in actually playing uh, Banjo-Kazooie, so... And then uh, elected to not to as soon as uh, Sans got revealed because... I'm not actually sure. Did he? There's no way that's real, right? He just like up throw up air? He, he just caught him with the drift, right? I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But all the same, well done to Johnny. Taking this lead here despite the early... Um, the early... what's the word? Defeat? No. Um, stock loss. But, Skitsu taking that right back from him. Keep himself in this. 60%. Not undoable, but in this matchup, 60% is a bit of a lead with how much uh, it's just tilted towards winning neutral and not so much towards punish game. That's like potentially. Uh, Banjo does have a better punish game than me, Gunner, but that's still like probably like four to. anywhere between like four to eight neutral wins depending upon how much he actually capitalizes off of getting any of those projectiles. Uh, and actually confirming them into anything. And, okay, we have reached peak, Johnny. We have reached peak Juanito SQ. Just lighting up the stage, not letting them out of the corner. And there's the stealth shot. Almost, almost ends up being an SD there. <laughs> but, Johnny... Very familiar with recovering with this character. I'm going to be taking that first set. Uh, last stock, but I would say pretty decidedly his favorite at the end there. So, well done to him. Are we going to see Johnny win his first Wi-Fi weekly? Ooh, and Redmute winning 2-1 over Chichon. Bit of an upset there. Not exactly what you would have expected. Winning over, uh, you know, the formerly ranked number 10 player on the CY Wi-Fi Warrior PR. Well done to him. And what's going on between... What is it? Fat Kid and Akira, right? 
Okay, yeah, they just started the first game. Didn't SD a single stock either, too. Wow. Goddamn, GG's red mute. I'm. That's actually definitely a win then. So, Mason, you planning on entering uh, Johnny's Saturday night tournament, or do you work today? God, you can fluctuate so much on this, it's weird. No character counter pick work, but I might still try to enter. Uh, sick. I'm definitely entering that tonight, so I'm gonna be broadcasting my run later tonight. Seeing if we can finally win a tournament. Probably going all heavies. But <clears throat> you guys don't want to hear about that right now. You want to hear about this hype winner's final set between Skitsu and Johnny SQ going to Lilat. We got projectiles. We got zoners. We got the worst stage in the game. With uh, some of the best music in the game, though. Is Johnny streaming it too? I think so. Ooh, eclipse him with the F smash. Yep. Gotta just uh, respect that. Let him get all of his hits on shield or try to parry it. But it is safer on shield than you'd think it'd be. Someone said best stage in the game. If any of my moderators was were here right now, that's when I would say ban that guy. But <laughs> don't actually... Banning subs, that'd be lame. <laughs> Speaking of... Well... I mean, like... Oh, wow, he got through that? <laughs> okay. I was gonna say speaking of lame, but never mind. So, here it is. This is uh, the Johnny Classic, just uh, side being ten times in a row until they get through. And, you know, it seems to be working out right now. He got the lead. Down throw. Air dodges through with the uh, directional air dodge. Air dodges through that up air. Yeah, I didn't think that was actually a true combo, but I don't know. Maybe it is. You could probably frame trap depending on how you do it, but... Something about the way... Oh, okay. Rolls past, gets the F-Smash. He definitely could have lived that. Wow. Okay. Well, good F-Smash all the same. And getting past uh, Johnny's wall of projectiles. Well played, Skitsu. One thing um, that I noticed about Johnny, uh, the way that he plays a lot, is um, especially if you get close to him, because Gunner doesn't have like particularly good out of shields, is he really, really likes rolling in. And as soon as you pick up on that, the uh, matchup becomes a lot easier. Especially if you have, uh, like, good rush down that can react to that. But until then, it gets a little bit rough. And especially if you have a slower character that's not so equipped to deal with actually pressuring. Uh, this really lets Johnny just, um... It, it really makes it so that closing distance against him isn't as useful as it normally should be. That's not to say that you can't cover roles with other characters, you certainly can, but at least for me, I find it particularly easier to actually do with a character more designed to pressure an opponent's shield, like say Fox, which is also why I tend to beat him when playing Fox and also why my other characters kind of struggle. But <clears throat> while I was talking about that briefly, Skitsu did make the clutch play with the side beat, taking the stock lead. Starting to, he's wanting to get as much uh, extra percent as he can before losing the stock. 118. One big hit will kill right now, but he could also live considerably long. Yeah, Fusion saying his Sheik does hella good against Johnny, and that's hardly surprising at all. 
uh, given just the way that Sheik functions. Sheik's very, not so much as, like, say, Fox, but very equipped to actually pressure an opponent's shield. Alright, 44%. 160 living to. Is that the last Wonder Wing? I don't think it was. 64. 69. Alright, Johnny's unstoppable right now. Never mind. That up smash. That's gonna kill. Taking it to a game three. Well played by Sketsu. Very patient. Very, very patient and choosing the spots very well. <sighs> Alright, game three. I wonder what the stage counter pick is going to be here. Let's see how the other games are going to. I think Akira took one of the games. Not sure about that, though. And Red Mute and Three Bar are still in their first game, from or at least that's how it seems at the moment. All right, game three. We good? What's the stage gonna be? Looks like they're still deciding. Oh, no, it. Oh, it looks like they're going FD. All right. Wait, that's an option you can put in the chat? I'm gonna, that's, wow. I'm gonna get flashy, huh. I didn't know that was an option. All right, we got FD, the, oh shit, it's Cuphead. You know, Cuphead, a uh, character that everyone's really wanted in the game for a long time. The first indie rep, actually, to get into Smash, uh, I think. So, that's pretty sick. Uh, Cuphead, you know, plays very similar to, say, I think akin to something like Samus. Uh, you know, uh, he's actually not even playing the Cuphead at all. He's playing the uh, Mugman all. It's a little bit lazy. I mean, it's just the color scheme, really. Uh, as opposed to, uh, you know, like, some of the stuff that they've actually done with some characters, like, say, Alf. Um... So that's a little bit lame, but you know, it's whatever. It's fucking Cuphead. He's in the game and he plays exactly how you'd imagine he played. It's not the most fun playstyle to play against, but uh, it's kind of cool that we get a character like this in the game. And I really have nothing else to say to this joke, so I'm gonna quit running with it at this point. <coughs> game three. And Johnny doing a good job, taking the lead. I'm keeping. Uh, Skitsu at the edge, but Skitsu side being through. And another side B. Alright, 150 to 100. Me Gunner unfortunately not having any uh, notable kill throws. Goes for the up air. That was an interesting up air. The forward air going to kill. That's one thing about this as uh, Banjo kills a lot earlier than um, Me Gunner does, as you just saw. Although, yeah, 150 and 100, and one of them killed with a forward air, one killed with a back air. So, gives you an idea of, you know, the relative difference of their kill power. I just realized Johnny also picked the Cuphead music here. That's probably why he specifically wanted this stage. Alright, sorry about that, I was doing something. 
Uh, good downer to mm, just get some. Uh, or reset it back to neutral, getting some bonus attack damage onto Johnny. As much as the percent lead looks like it's in Johnny's favor right now, just uh, Banjo has the clutch factor of being able to deal a lot more damage very quick and kill a lot earlier, as you see with that side B. It's with the egg. Dash attack. Both at kill percent. The stealth shot, that's going to be the stock, though. All right. Johnny is one stock away from making his trip into winner side of Grand Finals. But Skitsu not gonna give it to Johnny for free. Takes the stock with the side B. Instant 30%. Really good start to the last stock. That's a big, that's a big number in this matchup. And unfortunate side B off the side of the stage. Not again, Skitsu. Not again. We've seen him do that so many times now. Alright, uh, even game. Forward air on shield, not safe. Gotta space that a little bit better, dude. Alright. There's the side B's coming out. Johnny going for those aggressive recoveries. Covering it with his projectiles. Really annoying to get around. Still an even game. No character is quite breaking away. Mm. Skitsu's shield looking really small right now. Shield break will be the end of the set for either character. Definitely want to watch that. Unlikely that you'll actually get a shield break instead of a shield poke with how this character works, but... Gets the side B! That's the last Wonder Wing, though. That's the last Wonder... Oh, no! No! Skitsu, not again! Oh no, that's so unfortunate, dude. <laughs> anyway, still clutch play from Johnny. Winning with the stage spike. Booking his ticket to winner side of Grand Finals. Well done.